Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, tonight I am in the mood to light the fire. So we're going to burn it up and uh, it's going to be a hot one. And let's, let's do it. Sit up tall, take your shoulders back and close your eyes. As we enter tonight's practice, we first just want to soften and just observe whatever energy we are arriving to the practice with. And we want to take note, what are the things that we want to kind of use this practice to shift? Fire is an, a very amazing element. It has the ability to destroy, which means that whatever you don't need, we're going to offer to the fire. And it has the ability to nurture. So anything that you need from the fire that you're creating, you're going to take. Bring your hands together in front of your heart, Anjali Mudra. The most beautiful fire that each one of us possesses is our heart, the light of the heart. And that is always burning strong. And sometimes we get a little bit cloudy internally and it blocks that light. And we use the practice just to move things around, kind of clean, clean, the, clean the lens, as it were. So we're going to chant Om together. And even though we can't hear each other, uh, know that we are connected. We're connected through this medium, and we're connected energetically, regardless of distance and personal space. One Om. Take a deep inhale. Om. Bow your head to your heart. Release your hands, lift your head, open your eyes. <laughs> As I was chanting Om, I was just thinking, wow, I wonder what that sounds like in people's homes. I see that some of you guys have those, those big ass screen TV, so I must, that must sound amazing. I don't know. All right, let's rock it out. Come to the top of your mat, Tadasana. And even though this is a, an all levels class, uh, it will be a, a little bit heated and uh, possibly intense at any time that you need to take a break. Just take a break. It's no problem. Hit pause, chill out, drink some water, uh, and then hit play. Come back. Don't just stay on pause. As you stand at the front of your mat, feet hip distance apart. Ground through your feet, open through your chest, and just take a breath. <sighs> Feels good. Take the arms overhead, reach for the ceiling. We're going to turn the palms face forward. I'll bend my elbows so you can see. And you can bend your elbows too. We'll do it together. Bend the elbows and hook the thumbs. With the elbows bent, you have a little bit more mobility of the shoulders. With the thumbs connected, put a little bit of pressure sideways on the thumbs, and then we're going to stretch the arms long. And I'm leaning back just a little bit so that my heart starts to lift up towards the ceiling. And then I'm going to use the power of my legs to get more stretch through the upper body. So that means I'm pushing down as I go up. This is creating inner body length, full body length. Keep your thumbs connected, and we're going to fold the hands to the heart and fold forward to touch the ground, Uttanasana. Now, in this first forward fold, like, I haven't been moving so much today, so my back and my legs are a little bit stiff as I fold in. So I take a small bend in the knees, let the legs settle. Then I start to tone my legs and make the legs strong and straight. So as you come on to fingertips, we're going to flip the hands around so the fingers point towards the back of the mat. And if, if, if you can't fold in that much, it's no, it's no problem. You can keep them pointed forward. It's just an option. So fingers pointing back. And I usually take a small bend in my knees to let me go in a little bit further, then anchor the fingers and stretch the legs straight. I can feel my legs telling me, hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> this is our chill day. That is no chill day in yoga. Oh, it feels amazing. On the next inhale, lift and open the chest, half stretch forward. I'm just going to step back a little bit to make sure I'm in the frame and fold in. One more time, fingers back, palms facing down, and just draw yourself in. And I'm using my, the strength of my arms and my legs to take a deeper forward fold. And as I settle in here, I can already start to feel the heat of my body increasing. 
Lift and open the chest, half stretch forward. Ardha Uttanasana. And if you're having trouble getting a long back, bring the hands onto the legs, no prop, and fold in. Take your hands to your hips with an open chest, rise to stand. Float the arms forward, take the arms overhead, bend the elbows, hook the thumbs, strong legs, open the heart, lean back and start to stretch nice and sweet. So I'm I'm making sure that, especially right now, my my body's cold-ish, but I'm using the power of my legs to get up and out. Keep the thumbs connected, hands in prayer pose, fold to touch the ground. Lift and open the chest, half stretch forward, and fold in, palm, fingers flipped back, and start to draw yourself in a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Lift and open the chest. Ardha Uttanasana, half stretch. And fold in. Take your hands to your hips. Take your shoulders back with an open chest. Rise. Hook the thumbs. Bend the elbows. Take the arms back. Lean back. Now, keeping the thumbs connected, stretch the arms. Super strong stretch. Bring the hands to the heart center, fold in, Uttanasana, forward fold. Lift and open your chest, half stretch forward, and step to plank pose. First plank, just check out the the hands and the feet. Hands a little bit wider than the shoulder distance, fingers pointing forward, feet hip distance apart. Strong arms, strong legs, open the chest. And we're gonna lower halfway down to the floor. Untuck the feet, lower the hips, Open the chest, cobra pose. So I'm just letting this first one settle in. Over time, we're gonna start to pick up the tempo just a little bit. And reset the feet, push your hips back, downward facing dog. Now in this downward facing dog, I'm gonna bring my feet together. Okay, bend the knees deep, no jumpers yet. Bend the knees deep, lift the butt high, and then start to work the legs strong and straight. So I like to bring my legs together in this one just to get a little bit more power and a little bit more stretch in my dog. That sounds weird. Stretch in my dog. Yeah, I don't want to go there. Step forward to meet your hands. Uttanasana, fold in. Lift and open the chest, half stretch forward and fold. Okay, now bring your feet together. And for these sun salutations, we're going to keep the feet together as we move, and just to build up a little bit more power. One more time, Ardha Uttanasana, half stretch forward, and fold in. Take your hands to your hips with an open chest, rise to stand, hook the thumbs as they float forward, take the arms overhead, full stretch, full reach, come back to center and touch the ground, Uttanasana, forward fold. Lift and open your chest, half stretch forward, and step to plank pose. As soon as you step back, do a quick check-in of the hands, a little bit wider in the shoulders, feet hip distance apart. We're gonna lower down, halfway chaturanga. Release the hips to the floor. Open the chest. See how my chest never drops to the floor? My chest is essentially staying in chaturanga as my hips lower to the floor. Downward facing dog, push it all the way back, feet together. Bend the knees deep, ooh. Lift the butt high, full stretch of the legs. Legs straight now. Step it forward, Uttanasana on the same breath, lift and open the chest, and fold in, feet together. Take your hands to your hips with an open chest, rise to stand, float the arms overhead, hook the thumbs, take the arms back, lean back and stretch it out, come back to center, Uttanasana. Lift and open your chest, half stretch forward, step to plank pose. Lower down, halfway chaturanga, release the hips to the floor, open the chest, cobra pose. Reset the feet, push the hips back, feet together. Look forward as you bend the knees, light hop or step, Uttanasana, feet together, lift and open the chest and fold in. Hands on the hips with an open chest, rise. Same breath, float the arms over. Now they can come to prayer pose. You don't have to hook the thumbs, hands connected, lean back and stretch, come back to center, Uttanasana, forward fold. Lift and open the chest, half stretch forward and step to plank pose. Strong arms, strong legs, lower down halfway chaturanga. Untuck the feet, straighten the arms, upward facing dog, strong arms, open heart, downward facing dog, push it back, feet together, bend the knees, lightly hop, Uttanasana, lift and open the chest, half stretch forward, and fold in. Hands on the hips, open chest, rise, hands in prayer pose, take them up, 
lean back, come back to center, Uttanasana. And I know some of you guys can go really, really deep in that. Just stay with me, lift it open the chest, half stretch forward, step to plank pose. When I can go that deep, then we all go that deep, okay? Stay with me. Lower down, halfway, chaturanga. Untuck the feet, straighten the arms. Up dog, downward facing dog. Feet together, bend the knees, look forward, lightly hop or step, Uttanasana. Lift and open the chest and fold in. Hands in prayer pose, rise to stand. Hands in prayer as they go up, lean back and stretch. Come back to center, Uttanasana. Lift and open the chest, half stretch forward, step to plank pose. Lower down, chaturanga. Untuck the feet, straighten the arms. Upward facing dog, push it back, downward facing dog, feet together, bend the knees, hop, Uttanasana, lift and open the chest, and fold in. Hands in the, oh, hands in prayer pose, rise to stand, keep the hands in prayer pose, take the arms back, Uttanasana, forward fold. Lift and open the chest, half stretch forward, step to plank pose. Lower down, Chaturanga, untuck the feet, straighten the arms, and downward facing dog, feet together. Bend the knees, lightly hop, Uttanasana. Lift and open the chest, that was light, and fold in. Hands in prayer pose, rise. Keep the hands in prayer, take the arms overhead. Oh yeah, come back to center, Uttanasana. Lift and open the chest, half stretch forward. Step to plank pose. Chaturanga, untuck the feet, straighten the arms. And downward facing dog. Feet together, bend the knees, lightly hop, Uttanasana. Ardha Uttanasana. And fold in, hands in prayer, rise to stand. Keep it flowing, keep it moving, Uttanasana, forward fold. Lift and open the chest, half stretch forward. Step to plank pose, lower down Chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Feet together, hop, Uttanasana. Same breath, Ardha Uttanasana, and fold, hands in prayer pose. Take it overhead, full stretch. Uttanasana, forward fold. Ardha Uttanasana, half stretch. Step to plank pose. Lower down, Chaturanga. Untuck the feet, open the heart, and downward facing dog. Feet together, bend the knees, hop. Uttanasana, Ardha Uttanasana. And fold, hands in prayer, rise to stand. Reach it up, Uttanasana, forward to fold. Lift and open the chest, half stretch forward, step to plank pose. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Feet together, bend the knees, lightly hop, Uttanasana. This is all I have planned for tonight, by the way. And fall to end, hands in prayer pose, rise to stand. Take it up, lean back, and stretch. Uttanasana, forward fold. Lift and open the chest. Step to plank pose. Lower down, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Feet together, bend the knees, hop. Uttanasana. Ardha Uttanasana and fold. Hands in prayer pose. Rise to stand, take the arms overhead. Come back to center, Uttanasana. Regulating the breath, lift and open the chest. Step to plank pose, it's like regulating the fire. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Feet together, hop or step, Uttanasana, Ardha Uttanasana, and fold. Hands in prayer pose, rise to stand. Uttanasana, forward fold. Ardha Uttanasana, plank pose, Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Feet together, hop or step, Uttanasana, Ardha Uttanasana, and fold, hands in prayer pose, rise to stand. Take the arms overhead, Uttanasana, forward fold. Lift and open the chest, plank pose. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. If you get bored at any time, you can fast forward to Shavasana. Then the knees look forward, Uttanasana, Ardha Uttanasana, and fold. Hands in prayer pose, rise to stand. Uttanasana, forward fold. Ardha Uttanasana, plank pose. Chaturanga, 
Upward facing dog. There's the heat. Downward facing dog. Feet together. Hop. Uttanasana. Ardha Uttanasana. And fold. Hands in prayer pose. Rise to stand. Uttanasana. Forward fold. Ardha Uttanasana. Plank pose. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Feet together, hop, Uttanasana, or step, or Uttanasana, and fold. Hands in prayer pose, rise to stand. Uttanasana, forward fold. Or Uttanasana, plank pose. I know, Chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Feet together, hop, Uttanasana, or Uttanasana, and fold. Hands in prayer pose, rise to stand. Uttanasana, forward fold, we're almost there. Lift and open the chest. Where it's there, I don't know. Lower down, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Feet together, hop, Uttanasana, Ardha Uttanasana, and fold. Hands in prayer pose, take it overhead. Last cycle, Uttanasana, forward fold. Lift and open the chest. Plank pose, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, feet together, hop, uttanasana, ardha uttanasana, and fold. Hands in prayer pose, rise to stand, release your hands to your side, tadasana. Now there's a lot of heat moving through your body, possibly sweat on your face, on your body, Just stay present, stay steady. Let the fire do its work. Bring your hands to prayer pose. And then just take a moment and offer something to the fire. It could be an emotion or a feeling or a memory, something that you just don't want to carry anymore or don't need anymore. You're not pushing away, you're offering away. Close your eyes. Do whatever it is that you offered. Give thanks, because that will now be the fuel for the light that nurtures. Oh, feels good. Open your eyes, release your hands. Take the arms overhead, reach for the ceiling, Uttita Hastasana. Bring your hands to prayer pose as you fold in Uttanasana. Flip the hands around, fingers pointing back. One more deep forward fold like we did earlier. Your body's heated. Muscles are getting warmed up. So there should be a little bit more fluid for you. Lift and open your chest. Ardha Uttanasana, you can float the hands forward on fingertips and step to downward facing dog. Downward facing dog, now we bring the feet hip distance apart. Check in with your toes, make sure they're pointing straight forward, heels pointing straight back. Step the right foot forward, come onto fingertips. Rise, bring your hands to your hips. Float your arms straight forward, palms face down, hook your thumbs, and take your arms overhead. Now once the thumbs are connected and the palms, uh, arms are straight, sorry, turn the palms to face each other, the thumbs are still connected. It's kind of like a a thumb-connected prayer pose, whatever that is. Settle into the front leg, and then tune into the breath. Remember that fire needs oxygen, so the quality of the heat and the fire will be determined by your breath. Make it intentional. I'm going to bow forward 45 degrees and then pause. Bring the hands to the chest in prayer pose. And with control, we're going to take a very slow twist.
sweet, beautiful, full breath. Keep the hands in prayer. We're going to come back to 45 with the hands at the chest. Stretch the arms forward and bring it up where we came from. Ooh, that's a burner. And step to plank pose. And as soon as you step to plank pose, you're going to get some relief in your legs. Feels good. Arms strong, legs strong, open the heart, but still your body. Try to concentrate your movements. Now we're facing dog. Push it all the way back. Step the left foot forward. Come on to fingertips. Open through the chest. Rise. Bring the hands to the hips. Float the palms forward. Hook the thumbs. Take the arms overhead. Turn the palms to face each other. So you go to a kind of prayer mode. As for some of you, you may need a prayer right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm praying for you, don't worry. Bow forward, 45 degree angle. Bring your hands to your heart. And with control, we take the twist. So fire, as we said, is a very powerful force. And it's something that you want to use with control and awareness. When I was a kid, I loved fire. And yes, I burned many things. Luckily, my parents don't watch this channel. <laughs> Come back to 45. Ooh, take it up. Oh, this one burns. Stay in the fire. And plank pose. Whoa. Strong arms, strong legs. See, that was intense for me too, but I'm able to get still. No drama. Well, there's a lot of drama, but I'm just watching it. Downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, step the right foot forward between your hands. Turn your back heel down and flat. Keep your uh, front heel in line with the arch of the back foot. On your fingertips, open through your chest. With your right hand, keeping on the outside of the right leg. You can bring it on the inside if it feels stuck. Take your left hand to your hip, open your chest. Then we're gonna float the left arm forward, palm face down. Full Parshva Konasana. Strong in the legs. Rise to warrior two. From warrior two, straighten the front leg. We're gonna bring the right hand either onto the shin or fingertips on the inside of the floor, but we're gonna use the hand as part of the way that we open the chest. To the left, stretch the left arm up. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Now here, I want my head to be level so that when I take my head back, it's my chest that opens. But if I'm spinning my head and it's angling up or down, it's gonna put some tension in the neck. Take the top arm, reach it forward for a variation. Extend the triangle. Give it some juice out of that back leg. Wow, yeah, that feels good. Downward facing dog. Wow, felt amazing. Mm, thank you. You're welcome. You think they're grateful too? I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> Step the left foot forward, turn the back heel down and flat. Come on to fingertips, open through the chest. I'm keeping my left hand for me on the outside of the leg. This is full Parjvakamasana. Take the right hand to the hip, 
open the chest, and then take the right arm forward, palm face down. Not sure if you can hear my breath, but my breath is, is, is uh, ujjayi breath. Sounds like ocean waves. Warrior two, and it becomes part of the meditation and the stillness of the pose. And this pose, tone your arms and legs, but then stretch the arms. Let's get those bicep muscles open, long. Straighten the front leg, trikonasana. I'm going to bring my left hand first onto my leg, open the chest, then stretch it up, and then float the left hand to the ground. Sliding into this one felt a little tighter than the other side, so it's cool. No need to rush, no place to go. Level the head, take the head back, open the heart. Deep breath here. Take the top arm forward, palm face down. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah, downward facing now. Put a little bit more heat. Trikonasana, it's the pose we just finished with. Right foot forward, left heel down. Line the front heel with the arch of the back foot. Take the right hand to the inside of the right leg. Straighten the front leg and then float the left arm overhead. Strong stretch to the legs. Take the left hand to the hip, look forward. We're gonna step into Ardha Chandrasana. I just gliding my foot back so I stay in the frame. Float the left arm, left leg up, then the left arm. If you can't touch the floor, bend your right knee, it's not a problem. But what we want is that back leg strong and stretching. Give it some juice. Bend the back knee, grab the back foot. If you can't grab the foot, uh, you can even hold the knee or just bend the leg without holding the foot. You can just bend the leg, the knee, hand on the hip. If you look at your screen, I'm doing it now. But I'm going to grab my foot, open the chest. Now I'm going to give some kick into my hand, and I'm going to use that to get my chest open more. Just staying steady here. No variations. Just keep it strong. Keep it full. Keep it sweet, but... The fire burning. Yeah. Release the foot, Ardha Chandrasana. Downward facing dog. Yeah. Oh, oh, delicious. Trikonasana. Step the left foot forward, right heel down and flat. Take the left hand to the inside of the left leg. As you start to straighten the right, left leg, float the right arm up. Full trikonasana. Mm, yeah. Wow. Look forward, step forward. Ardha Chandrasana. I'm just gliding the foot back. Stay in the frame. Put the right arm up, right leg up. I can feel my glute or my butt muscles shaking. So I can tell they're a little bit weak. I haven't done these uh, full cycles or these sequences in a few days. So bend the back knee, grab the back foot, chapasana. Oh, yeah. Love it. Strong. Again, if you're just keeping the leg up in Ardha Chandras and the pose before, that's cool too. It's no problem. The key is though to stay in the fire as long as you can 
as long as you can. Steady yourself. Open the heart. <clears throat> Kick into the head. Whoa. Mm. And release. Whoa, downward facing dog. Step forward to meet your hands, Uttanasana, forward fold, feet together. And this one, we're going to take hold of the back of the legs, palms facing forward, fingers facing down. And I'm going to press forward on my legs to give me a little bit more leverage to bring my heart in. Lift and open the chest, half stretch forward, and fold in. Take your hands to your hips, with an open chest, rise. Okay, we're just gonna take a little step back onto the mat, middle of the mat, about. Take a breath, soften. Okay, we're gonna, I'll show from the left side first. Well, no, let's, yeah, left side first, no problem. We're gonna do like a runner's thigh stretch. So just bend the knee, hold the foot from behind you. If you struggle with that, you can use a towel or a strap. Take the right arm overhead, and as I take my hand overhead, I'm just gonna connect the index finger and the thumb, chin mudra or yana mudra. Take the arm overhead. I do that because just in case somebody's watching, it looks sexy. <laughs> it looks yogic. I have beads, I should be wearing beads. <laughs> Good. I'm going to kick the foot into my hand, get the chest open, and take a small bend in the right knee for balance, and then lean forward, leading with the heart, baby dancer. Yeah, come back to center. Oh, yeah, shake it out. Now, I wanted to show you that variation, or this form, because we're going to do this form couple of times later in the class, okay? Balancing on your left dip foot, bend the right knee, so runner's lunge, nice and sweet. Index finger and thumb touching, take the arm overhead. I'm gonna give a little bit of a kick into my hand. This opens the chest and shoulders. Bend the left knee a little bit for balance, and then fold forward. and rise to stand. Ooh, all right, shake it out. Nice and sweet. Tadasana, hands to the side. Bring your hands to prayer pose. Close your eyes. Now, I want you to take something from the fire. All right, it's not always just about feeding. You also have to take. So what is it that would nurture you right now? What is it that you can say energetically, I need this? And whatever it is, don't put any judgments around it or don't let your mind step in to make it practical and start telling, well, that's not possible. Just whatever it is, I want you to look into the flame, look into the light and say, I need this. And be okay with that. It's okay to need. Those are words that I also have to remember. It's okay to need. To feed yourself. It's okay. Release your hands. Open your eyes. I hope you're still with me. <laughs> Take the arms overhead, nice sweet stretch, just reach it up, let it be light. Come back to center and touch the earth, Uttanasana, forward fold. Ardha Uttanasana, half stretch, and downward facing dog. Okay, we're gonna go into full Hanuman, but we'll start in Ardha Hanuman or splits, step the right foot forward, place the left knee on the ground. 
Come onto your fingertips, and right here, before you go any deeper, just check to make sure that the legs are hip distance apart. When the left leg goes back, it tends to narrow. Now we're going to shift, I'm going to move my foot forward slightly, but generally we're going to go deeper from the back leg. I just need to move so I'm in the frame. So once the front leg is straight, tone it, make it strong, and then start to walk the left leg back. Try not to go deeper by moving your front leg, okay? Especially if you start to twist it left and right because it's stuck on the mat. That's a recipe to tear a hamstring. Oh, which I just, <laughs> just like, hmm, telling you what not to do. And I was like, I think I'll do that. That sounds good. <laughs> okay, now once you're at your full, uh, str let's call it the edge, okay? We're going to respect the edge, but we're going to make the edge strong. This is how we increase our boundaries. We go right to that place where we think like, whoa, I, I, can't, I can't go anymore. I need, to, I need to run away. I need to back up. Go to that place and steady yourself. Go to your breath. The breath brings you to the present moment. And it's a way of instructing your body that you are okay, you are safe. At the edge, you're okay. Hmm. Another one I need to remember. Okay, we're gonna untuck the back foot so the toenails now face the ground. We're gonna give it some I'm pressing it down strong, and out of my back foot pressing, I'm opening my chest. And you should feel that right in the front of your left thigh, all the way in through your hip, and even in the lower belly. Start to move the back foot forward. Start to bend the front knee. Then use your hands for support as you move the right leg back to downward facing dog. Let's switch sides. Step the left foot forward. Place the right knee on the ground. Come onto your fingertips and again just check the distance. All right. Start to uh, sorry. Straighten the front leg. See, and right now when I straighten my front leg, what I noticed is that my body was looking for some space. So it kind of went sideways. So, oh, wait, hey, what are you doing? No, no, no. Keep it straight forward. Walk the right knee back to go deeper. On fingertips, steady. I'm not as flexible in my hanuma or my splits on this side. So what I always also feel is that at my edge, my body wants to almost give up, right? It loses its ability to engage. So I'm just looking at the quadricep muscles, and they fire, they let go. They fire, they let go. So I need to train my body to be able to fire, hold fire, and then steady. Untuck the foot, oh. pressing it down strong and pulling out of that back leg. Yeah, and on this pose, if you're struggling, I forgot to say it in the beginning of the other pose, but you can use blocks uh, if you can't touch the ground, okay? There is no shame in using blocks or straps or blankets or bolsters. <laughs> all right, downward facing dog. Push it all the way back. Nice job. Thank you. Okay. We're going to come into uh, side plank. So I will do it. I'm gonna fi uh, we're going to face to the right. So come forward to plank pose, legs together. And I'm going to turn to the outer edge of the left foot. Stack the right leg on top of the left, right hand on the hip. And then take the right arm towards the ceiling. Strong legs, steady legs. Okay. Bend the right knee, and then you're going to step it to the floor behind you. Let me move on to my mat. 
and then strong legs. Just lift the hips, open the chest, open the heart with that top arm reach. Wild thing. So I'm going into this pose. You don't have to go so deep in the first one, just showing form. Come back to center, downward facing dog. So what I notice is that uh, when I stepped onto the floor, my feet are a little bit dry, so they, they slipped very quickly. So if you need space on your mat, just move it over. For this one, we'll move to the left side of the mat a little bit. Come forward to plank pose, legs together. Stack the legs, left hand up. Vashi stas in our side plank prep, stage two. Then we're gonna bend the left knee, lift it high, step it back, use the legs to open the chest, then stretch the left arm. Oh yeah, come back to center, and downward facing dog. At any point, if you need to bring your knees down and hip pause, go for it. Come forward to plank pose. We're gonna shift our body a little bit to the right. Turn to the outer edge of the left foot. Take the right hand to the hip. This one, we're gonna bend the knee just like we did in that first standing pose. Take hold of the foot, and then we're gonna balance as we kick the foot back. Baby Kapinjalasana. Yeah, release the foot to the floor. Strong legs. Open the heart. Oh, good. Downward facing dog. Wow. That was strong. Okay, let's do the other side. Legs together. Come forward to plank pose. I'm shifting to the left. Leg left on top of right. Left hand to the hip. Bend the left. Oh, I need to shorten my stance a little bit. Left knee bends. Take the runner's thigh stretch. Balance. Steady. Steady. Steady, open the heart, and release the foot. Whoa, wild thing. Open the chest, strong legs, and come back to center, and bring the knees to the ground. I'm gonna face the camera, and sit back on your heels. One hand on top of the other. This pose is called Vajrasana. Just close your eyes, and sweeten the breath. No. In this moment, I want you to give thanks to the fire. Fire transforms things. Next to my mat, I have a sound bowl. It's made out of some kind of beautiful metal that has been put to the fire to shape. Each one of us through our challenges, through our difficulties, through our hard times, the fire has shaped, shaped us. And it is shaping us still. So to the person that you are, you give thanks. To the fire, you give thanks. And to the person that we are becoming, we also give thanks. And this allows us to have compassion for exactly where we are right now. Bring your hands to prayer pose. Bow your head to your heart. Just bring your hands to touch your head so you, you carry that, that knowledge. You carry it to the light, to the mind, which sometimes gets dark and it forgets. It's okay. It's totally okay. Release your hands. Lift your head. Open your eyes. Cool. Let's do it. Downward facing duck. All right. Downward facing dog. Uh, step the right shin forward. Place the left knee on the ground. Come on to your fingertips. Now this one we're gonna, this is not so much a hip opener, we're gonna go more into a, um, a traditional thigh stretch, okay? So I wanna bring the foot in just a little bit more so that I'm more elevated, more lifted. Turn the torso to the left, staying on fingertips. Bend the knee, I'm holding the foot from the inside. I don't know if you can see, but my thumb is on the arch of the foot. As I bring the elbow forward, I'm gonna spin the hand and then the elbow points straight back. 
I'm keeping the toes active, so I'm actually just below the toes. Okay. Now, this is too much for you. You can hold from the outside of the foot like this. Most likely on the other side, my shoulder's quite tight from my operation years and years and years ago. But, um, so this is pretty difficult for me. On the other side. On this side, I rock it. I hope, <laughs> I'm looking as I hope I'm rocking it. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Awesome. And release. Mm. See, when I release, I keep the hand on the inside, roll the shoulder back, and I get a little bicep stretch here. I just do that. Oh, that feels good. And release. <clears throat> All right. Step the left shin forward. Come on to fingertips. And bring the left foot in just a little bit. Remember, this is thigh stretch, not a hip opener. And then lift the foot up, hold from the inside. And it, whoa, look at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing when you have thousands of people watching what your, what your body will do. Hold from the ins, uh, inside of the foot if you can and start to bring the foot forward. Whoa. I'm right at the edge and my body trembles because it's uncertain. It hasn't been in, in this position for a while, so it's, it's asking me, are we okay? And I'm just st I steady, I don't force it, I don't push it. And I say, yeah, we're okay. We can be strong here. We can be secure here. It's okay. Oh, and release. Keep hold of the inside of the foot. Watch how I roll the right shoulder back and get a little bicep stretch. Oh. Mm, yeah. And release. Downward facing dog. Okay, bring the left shin forward, right knee on the ground. And I usually do the other leg first, but we'll do this one so I can show in the camera. I'm gonna use a strap. Some of you may not need a strap. Uh, some of you may need more than a strap. But you can also use like a towel, you can use a belt, whatever you want. So what I'm doing is I'm just using this yoga strap. And see how I fold it in two? I'm gonna hold it about the middle. Okay, I'm just making a nice loop. Lift the foot up, turn to face the foot, and I'm just gonna put the loop around my foot. Now here's, here's the key. When I, when I loop, hoop, hoop, loop, loop, <laughs> I got stuck on that word. When I lift the foot, I stay looking at my foot, but I bring the elbow in towards the side of my body. I start to turn forward, and then the elbow goes up. I don't want to rush that process, okay? Now, once you have your balance, you can stay here, or if you have balance, take both hands to the strap. Now, using both hands, steady your body, but we're going to go up through the heart, and now I'm kicking into the strap. And this really lights the fire, super strong, and I'm steady here. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, Release the right hand, watch. I turn to the left as the left elbow comes down and around and release. Okay? So you're, this is, a, I'll just explain really quick. When your strap is on your foot, your foot is wanting to get to the floor because that's what it's used to. So if you stay holding onto the strap and your foot goes really fast to the floor with your shoulder in a position that it's not ready for, then that happens, okay? So let's not, let's, not, let's not hurt ourselves. Let's do the other side. Left, shin, actually I'll flip it around just so that uh, I stay facing the camera. Left shin forward, right knee down, 
And here I just grab the strap from the floor, I grab it in the middle. Turn to face my foot, I loop the strap, stay looking at it as I bring the right elbow in, forward, and up. Take both hands to the strap, walk it down if you can. Good. Use your legs for support. You're going to go up. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release the left hand. Turn to the right. Start to let the strap go and release. And voila. And bring it out. Oh, okay. How are you guys doing? That was intense. Okay. So you have an option. Uh, you can do that pose that we just did, or you can bring it into a lunge, okay? The lunge is a little bit trickier because you're a little bit more elevated, so balance is harder. If you lose your balance in this, let it go, okay? Let it go. The foot will come to the ground. You'll be okay. If you want to try to hold the strap as you lose your balance, you hurt your shoulder really quick, okay? so Let's start with the right foot forward. Place the left knee on the ground. This time, I'm going to give a... I was in the middle before. I'm going to give a little bit more, so I have a longer strap, okay? So, lift the back. Lift the back knee up. Put the strap. Stay looking at the foot. Bring the elbow in close. See how I, I hug the elbow in? Keeps my shoulder back. Then elbow up, chest open. I can keep my right hand on my knee if I'm wobbly for balance, or I could use a block or the wall or my neighbor <laughs> if I had one. And then if I have my balance in both hands to the strap. Strong, steady. Give a little juice, little kick into the strap for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right hand releases. Turn to the left. Let it go. Boom. Like that. All right. I'm going to flip it around to see, see both sides. All right. Left foot forward. Right knee on the ground. Take both uh, take the strap in your right hand, hold on, and yeah, just even out my strap. This is middle, I'm going a little bit longer. Okay. Lift the foot up, hoop it in, loop it in, shit, there you go, good. Okay. <laughs> right elbow in, take the right elbow forward, left hand stays for balance until I have my balance, and then I can start to explore taking the hand either to the wrist or directly to the strap. Use your legs, open the heart for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Left hand to the leg, just let the strap go. Wow and release. Okay, last one. This, this, this one's a big one. Okay, so we're gonna do this from a standing position. Okay, I'm gonna turn to face this way just so you can see it from the right since I have more balance to that side. So as I'm demoing, I'm on my best side. So first pose we held in the middle of the strap. Second one, a little bit further down. We can move a little bit more as you need, no problem. So just bend the left knee a little bit for balance. I'm gonna put the strap around my foot first. Bring it around to the back as if I'm doing a thigh stretch. Yeah, give it a little bit of space. Bring the elbow into the side, and then start to bring the elbow forward and up. Now as I go forward, I'm gonna bend my left knee for balance. Take both hands to the strap, and then start to lean forward. Kick the strap up and back for five, four, three, two, 
One, let the strap go as you rise. Voila, okay? No problem, let's switch sides. I'm gonna keep uh, turn to face you. So same thing, a little bit further than halfway uh, towards you, so a little bit more space. Bouncing on the right leg this time, a little bend in the left knee, right knee to keep my balance. Lift the left foot up, put the strap around from the front, easier to balance. Bring my elbow around to the side. Do a little runner's thigh stretch. Elbow close to the body, bring the elbow forward and up. Take both hands to the strap. Small bend in the right knee for balance. And then start to fold forward. Kick into the strap for five, four, three, two, one. Come back and let the strap go. Wow. Okay. You got one more in you? I do. Let's do it one more time. Okay, we're going to turn to face this direction so I'm facing the camera. Let's do it. Take a small bend in the knee for balance. Bring the elbow around the back. Elbow close to the body, forward and up. Find the balance first. If you're wobbly, let it go. Both hands to the strap. And then we're gonna hinge forward. There you go, lead with the heart. Kick the strap up for five, four, three, two, one. Come back to center and let it go. Voila. Woo, that's deep. Okay, fold my strap. Okay, balancing on my right leg. Small bend in the right knee for balance. Just put the strap around the foot. Okay, bring it around the side. Elbow close to my body. Oh, and forward and up. Both hands to the strap. Okay. Hinge forward. Kick it into the strap for five, four, three, two, one. Come back to center and release. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that's it. All right, move the strap. Come to a seated position. Feet facing forward. Stretch out the legs nice and sweet. Good. So move the strap to the side. Okay. We're going to bend the left knee. Open the left knee to the left. And this one, again, I've covered this before, but uh, we want to take the knee a little bit wider than 90 degrees. So my foot stays active, right? And then as I bring it in, as the knee opens, the bottom of the foot starts to face up. Okay? That comes from the rotation of the hip. It's not a rotation of the foot. Right leg straight forward, toes straight up and down. And then on your fingertips, walk your hands forward. Now I'm gonna keep my right hand on fingertips on the floor, solid, and I'm gonna cross my left hand to the outside of the right foot. Now if this is really intense for you, just stay here, coming out of those deep back bends, you wanna give your lower back a little bit of time to recover and in a way reverse, okay? Open the chest, strong legs, and then float, literally float the heart forward and then in. Nice, and rise, and release. Okay, let's switch legs. I'm just gonna flip it around, so I stay facing you. Okay, right knee opens, a little bit more than 90. Okay, turn the upper body forward, and start to walk the hands forward. And keeping the left hand on the outside of the left leg, 
You cross the right hand to the outside of the right foot. Lead with the heart and then fold in. As we did the last side, float the heart forward. breath is just really full as I go deeper I'm just visualizing like a very strong fire inside and it's not a raging fire but it's just a fire that is steady with intention and glow and I use my breath to keep that that light strong and vibrant and steady Inhale to rise. Okay. I'm going to turn to face the camera. We're going to go into Upavishta Konasana. So take a, a wide-legged angle. So just about 45 degrees out. But what's important is if the thigh bone and the shin bone and the feet are pointing up. And you can gauge that by your, by your knees, okay? Pointing straight up. If you have difficulty with this, if they're folding back, you can sit up on something, no problem. Okay. So on, once you have your legs set, Tone the legs, make them strong. Then we're gonna walk the hands forward on fingertips. As you walk your hands forward on fingertips, open through the chest. And then we're gonna fold in. And as I fold in, I continue to move my arms forward as a way of using uh, some strength in my arms to keep the heart buoyant and light and spacious. So I try to keep from just collapsing into my fluidity or flexibility. And level the head so the eyes are looking at the floor. And this is check to make sure you have no tension in the shoulders or neck. Even though you're using strength, the strength should not cause stress. And as I reminded myself of that, my body released a little bit. Keep your body, you can lift your chest just a little bit, but we're gonna walk the torso directly to the right. Watch what I do with my hands. My hand goes to the outside of the foot, and then my left hand goes to the outside of the right leg. But I'm not going into a twist. I stay facing down, and I fold in. Parishva Upavishta Konasana. This is usually when I'm taking a class where the Teacher comes over, grounds my hips, and makes me feel amazing. <laughs> yeah, not possible right now, but I can still visualize. I can still dream. <laughs> it sounds more like a fantasy, but whatever. <laughs> oh, that got weird. Sorry. I have these come again, rise. All right, let's take it over to the other side. Uh, I have these moments where I just go, did I just say that? I was like, okay, try to remember to edit that. But there's so many that if I was at, there would be no, no, no class if I edit all of those. So, so I just decided no filter. Okay, bow forward, walk your torso over to the left. Left hand on the outside of the left leg. And then we're gonna cross it over. Wow, this is good. Okay, keep the heart turned towards the floor. Get space and lift in the heart first as you float forward and in. Now I can feel that my right sitting bone wants to lift up. Okay, no problem. There's a little trick to this. When you go a little bit deeper into the pose, let the right sitting bone lift just a little bit. Get your grab strong. Make, hold it strong and then put the sitting bone back down. You should feel a party going on. Oh, yeah. 
Nice opening there. Good inhale to rise. We're not done yet. Okay. I'm going to take the right hand to the outside of the right foot. And th watch what I do. I bring the elbow to the inside, but I'm holding the outside of the foot. There is a variation where you can spin the hand like this, but I find I get less power. The purpose of this is to get this external rotation of the arm. If I keep the elbow on the inside and flip the hand, I can still use leverage to get this shoulder opening. Okay. With the left hand on the left thigh, root the thigh down and out to get the heart open. Once the heart is open, then the left arm can reach overhead and see if you can go either fingertips right over the toes. You can even grab yogi toe lock. I'm gonna take yogi toe lock. Some of you guys may even be able to take the hand on the outside of the foot. If you do that, then the hand can flip. But I'm gonna stay here, yogi toe lock. Open the chest. Open the heart. A little check in with the neck. Sweet breath. Oh, yeah. Oh, and come out and release. Ooh. I felt beautiful. Okay, let's take it the other side. So elbow on the inside of the foot, hand on the outside. Right hand on the upper part of the right thigh bone, fingers facing down, and I'm just putting a little bit of energy down to get the, the bones moving towards the earth, okay, or the, or the floor. And this, this is gonna help to settle. It's also stretching. I can feel it stretching the quadratus lumborum in my lower back. And say so root, open the heart, open the chest. Yeah, I can feel the iliac is the muscle on the inside of my pelvis that's re really tight. Yeah. Right. Stretch your right arm overhead. And if you struggle for this, even just stretching like this and let the elbow bend, you just let gravity open up this whole right side of your body. It's totally cool. Yeah, I, did. I love that one. Or sometimes you take the hand to the back of the head, open the chest, that's also beautiful. For this one, I'm gonna take Yogi Toe Lock because I'm really craving a stretch on the outer right hip. And now I go to the breath. Start to make as if I was just blowing on, on the flame and giving it some brightness. And rise. All right. As you come back to center, start to lift up. Take hold of the undersides of your knees. Bring your knees together for a moment. We're going to finish with one final forward fold, Paschimottanasana. I will stay facing you. Uh, inner edges of the feet touching. Come on to fingertips, open through your heart, and then we're going to fold forward. As we fold forward, Take hold of the outer edges of the feet, fingers pointing in. And then we're going to look at my toes, see how my toes are quite active and bright. Also the inner edges of the feet they're, and outer edges, they're even. So we want to keep that energy strong as we fold in. And the last thing to release will be the head. If your head doesn't touch your legs, it's okay. Just allow it to soften with gravity so that you get a nice opening in the sides and back of your neck as well. I'm just positioning my stomach so that I can get a little bit more length through the stomach and chest and heart. And then settle the head. Do 
Good, inhale to rise. Oh, yeah. And we're going to bring the legs into a cross-legged seated position. Okay, so I'm coming into Sadasana. So that's just uh, the ankle bones aligned with the pubic bone. So, and if this is, if the knees are raised, you should come into Sukhasana as well, just a cross-legged position, it's no problem. Palms face up, index finger and thumb touching. Okay, so we're gonna do a little breath work, uh, uh, pranayama. So I want you to focus your breath as literally as if you were feeding fire. Okay. You can imagine like, you know, when you're burning incense or you're burning, you know, your sage or your palo santo or whatever it is you burn to, to, <laughs> to clear the space. <laughs> I don't know, I'm assuming, uh, whatever. Uh, you know, when you're, or you're, oh, okay, never mind. I was going to go someplace else. You're burning something and then whoosh, you blow on it. It gives it a nice glow. Okay. Now with, with this, this part of the practice, we're not trying to create a raging fire anymore and any, any flames. We just want more to glow. We want that sweet glow. But we want the glow to be steady. And typically when you're holding something that's burning, when you blow on it, it glows. But when you breathe in, it doesn't. It, the, the, the light uh, kind of diminishes. In this instance, I want you to use the sound of the breath in and out, keeping the glow steady. So that you imagine even your, your inhale in is, is lighting, keeping that flame lit, okay? So we're gonna inhale for five, we're gonna hold for 10, and we're gonna exhale for 10. Inhale five, hold 10, exhale 10. Okay. Do a few cycles like that. And we're gonna do Jalandhar Bandha throughout, that's chin down, so when we're holding the breath, we're increasing pressure, and we wanna keep that pressure from rising up, okay? Index finger and thumb touching, lower the chin, chin towards the chest. Chest is rising, so there's no collapsing. Don't force the chin down, it's just lowering. You should feel a little tiny maybe stretch in the back of your neck, no problem. When I first learned this, I used to put a strap or a little washcloth there, it's totally cool. Okay, just get comfortable for this position first, settle the body. We're gonna do one cleansing breath here. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Close your lips. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Hold for 10. Two, one. Exhale for 10. Five, two, one. Inhale for five. Two, one, hold for 10. Exhale for 10. Three, two, one. Inhale for five. Hold for 10. Three, two, one. Out for 10. Three, two, one. In for five. Hold. Three, two, one. Exhale. Three, two, one. Last one. Inhale. Hold for ten. Three, two, one, exhale. Three, 
three, two, one. On the inhale, lift your chin. Exhale through your mouth, but keep your eyes closed. Super sweet. Inhale again. And exhale through your mouth. Last one, inhale. And exhale through your mouth. Just sit with your eyes closed, meditation. We'll be here for a few minutes. And that glow that we were cultivating in our pranayama, I want you to just sit in that light. Just sit. You can imagine that it's all around you. It's inside you. And the glow and the light is reassuring. It's peaceful. It's beautiful. It's like the light of a beautiful spring morning. It meets you with so much support and promise, love, compassion. very sweetly come onto your backs for Shavasana. And I'm going to talk you into Shavasana briefly. And then I'll give you a few minutes in Shavasana. If you need more time in Shavasana, you can just hit pause and then hit play when you're ready to join us uh, for the ending of class. So as you come onto your backs, relax your arms and your legs open so your palms are turned towards the ceiling legs can separate slightly and you're going to bring your body to complete stillness not through force but more through surrender and Shavasana is a very powerful practice because what we know is that through stillness or in stillness the body heals itself so rest is very important So when you come into your Shavasana, you want to give your body and your mind and your soul, you want to give it time to recuperate, to recharge. And the light and the energy that you've built in your practice, that's going to move through you like medicine. So you want to let it go everywhere in you. Not just your body, but also through your mind in through your heart so that your entire being is filled with source light.
need a little bit more time in Shavasana, just hit pause, no problem. Start to increase your breath. Move your fingers and your toes. And sweetly start to move your hands and feet. Stretch your arms and your legs. And then slowly bring your knees in towards your chest. Give your legs a nice, beautiful hug. And it's optional. You can kiss your knees if they're close. <laughs> I know you did it. <laughs> Turn to your right and use your hands to lift you to a seated position. As you sit up tall, Bring your left hand onto your chest. Bring your right hand onto your left hand. And take a moment and just give thanks. You want to give thanks for your struggles and your challenges as well as your blessings. They both serve to shape and mold you into the beautiful being that you are. Bring your hands to prayer pose. Bow your head to your heart. And let's carry this knowledge to the mind. Bring the hands to touch the forehead. May we bring that out into the world. Bring your hands to touch your lips. And may we always stay connected to the source. Bring your hands to rest at your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Ah, oh, fuck, I feel amazing. <laughs> so I hope you do too. And again, thank you so much for, for watching and listening and for supporting our channel. It's such a, such a blessing to stay connected in this way. I really appreciate you. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's share the love. Have a beautiful day, a beautiful week, wherever you are. Sending you love. Mwah.